Hey guys, so I just want to make a quick video today talking about verbs like gustar, and the reason for this is that there's a common mistake that is made with these, and it's understandable, especially for English speakers, that we do this, um, but I just want to point it out to you what the mistake is and then give you some examples of uh, uh, what you need to do when you're using these verbs. So what I have here in front of you are seven sentences. In each of the sentences, we can use uh, a verb like gustar. So I have seven verbs up here, uh, and they all work just like gustar would. Uh, so what you need to do, each of these blanks is missing two words. Um, and we're probably all very familiar with gustar. It's basically meaning like. Like I like sandwiches or uh, I like your mom or something like that, for example. So um, what I've done for you is before the blank, I, I put these I, yo, so I, ya, me, uh, to trigger the subject to tell you who it is that likes or is bothered by or something that's important to them. Uh, so you need to put that pronoun first, the me, te, le, nos, os, or lace, and then you're going to put the verb after it. And the verb that comes after it, remember that this verb over here, one of these seven verbs, it needs to agree in number with the thing that comes after it. So I'm going to show you um, a common mistake. I'm going to type it right here for you so you can kind of see what it is I'm talking about. So on me, me, so let's say that I um, I'm interested in soap operas. So the verb is over here is interesar. So an often common mistake with this is a student will put something like they'll put put it like that intereso, thinking that they need to put the verb in the yo form because they're talking about themselves, which is understandable that 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 mistake is made. The problem is that it's like saying I'm interested in myself. And what you need to say is that the the soap operas interest me. So these sentences kind of read backwards. So I need to put this into the the plural third person plural form which is going to be interesan. So remember the verb, this verb goes with what comes after it and before the verb is the person that we're talking about. So let's say that you're lacking the money. I'm going to say a ti te fa so now you have to ask yourself is it going to be faltas? No, it's not going to be faltas. It's going to go with the money which is going to be the third person singular falta. Maybe um, She's bothered by, uh, you know, her brother or something like that. So it's going to be le uh, molesta. Here, I'm, this is what I'm going to do for you. Uh, oh no, never mind. Okay, nosotros. So let's say that uh, we're interested. No, let's do. We love the movie theater. So we're going to put nos in cine. Cinco. So you know they like the soap operas. So it's going to be leis doing that. Les gustan las telenovelas. So that's, you get the idea by now. So make sure that you put the, the pronoun over here to, talk, to refer to the person that we're talking about, uh, who it is that likes or who it is that has something that's important to them or who it is that's fascinated by something. And then the verb over here, it goes, it agrees in number with the noun that's over here. That's the most common problem I see with these verbs. So that is it for today. If you have questions about it or doubts, let me know and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.